Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and let's do something a little bit more advanced than what we usually do, and that is rip filtering using the distance command. This is for CCI level people who are going for their uh, lab exam in the upcoming months, uh, just like I am. And what we're dealing with here in terms of topology is the relativity drive topology for INE Workbook 1. And the link for that, you can look down in the video comments and it should be there. So what we want to do is filter by the distance command inside of RIP. And what that does is it allows us to set a distance, administrative distance of 255, which will kill the route from coming in and also kill it from going to any other router downstream. So looking at our topology, we've got R6. R6, actually everything in here is running RIP. R6 has got a loopback of 150.1.6.6. It's a slash 24, and we're going to try to kill that on switch 4 here down at the bottom. Uh, hopefully you can see that. That's at the very bottom down here. It is the end of our network, and we're going to kill it from coming into switch 4. So first of all, let's go to switch 4 and make sure we've got that route. So show IP route 150.1.6.0. We've got that. We're learning it through RIP, and it's coming from our next hop, which is switch 2. So let me just do a quick little ping, and we have a success. So we're going to do first distance filtering by the route. So we don't care who tells us. We just care that we're matching on the particular route. In our case, it's 150.1.6.0. And after we do that, we're going to go on another router, and we're going to do some distance filtering by neighbor. So in this case, filtering by neighbor, we want to take a route that's coming from a particular direction and kill it. And then leaving the same route coming a different way, and we're going to let that one through. So a little bit more complicated, but not, not too much. Okay, so distance filtering by route. First, we are concerned about 150.160. That's the one we want to kill. And so the commands we're going to do here are... First, we need to make an access list, so access list 1, and we're going to match 150.160. And our mask for that is going to be a slash 24 wildcard mask, so it should look something like that. And then we're going to go into router rip, and then the command is going to be distance 255. And then we're going to say all zeros and all 255s, that's a wildcard mask and then our access list number. So what this basically says right here is I'm going to make whatever routes that match this access list, so 150.1.6.0, so whatever matches that access list, coming from any neighbor, I'm going to turn that administrative distance into 255. Okay, so let's go on switch 4. Let me stop my debugs for now on switch 4. Looks like I had those running from a previous lab. Go to conf t. Actually, before I do that, let me show access list just to make sure I don't have anything there. So that's usually a good idea. I have been bitten by that many times. So access list 1, permit 150.160.000.255. Go into rip, distance 255 all zeros, all 255, so that matches any neighbor, and then putting the access list there. Okay, let's see if it works. Show IP route 150.160. Might have to take a while there. Let me clear IP route rip. Oops, clear IP route star. And take a look at my IP route again for 150.160. Not in table, we're going to wait a couple seconds. I've changed the timers on here to update every 10 seconds, so this rip should be a lot quicker. Subnet still not in the table. Let's see if we are getting other rip routes, which we should. Show IP route rip. And yeah, it looks like we're getting everyone here. So I could ping 150.155, that's router 5. Router 5 is good, router 4 is good, router 3 is good. It's just we cannot reach 150.166, which is router 6. Okay, so it definitely looks like that is working. 
let's just make sure, let's go on the next device upstream and let's show IP route 150.160 and we have that in there. So definitely our distance command is working. So just to recap on that part, we made an access list first that matched the route. And then we went into the RIP process, did a distance command, distance 255, all zeros, all 255. So that basically says from anywhere. And we're going to match the routes in this access list. Okay, next up, let's go over to router 5 here. And let me bring back my diagram. If we look at router 5, we can see that router 5 has got links going to router 4. And also router 1, router 3, and router 2 via the frame relay link. So let's look for a route that's coming from different directions on router 5. So show IP route rip. What's a good candidate to play around with? We've got all these routes. Okay. So the loopback of router 4 is 150.1.4.4. That's a slash 24. We are getting it through two directions. One direction is through the frame relay cloud right here. And the other direction is via this point to point serial 01 link. Let's just make sure we can ping it. Ping 150.1.4.4 and we have a good ping. If we show IP route 150.144, I get two entries right there. So what I want to accomplish here is I want to block it, let's say, oops, let's block it coming from the frame relay cloud. Block it from coming in the frame relay cloud and that will make us prefer this link right here, the point to point link. So the frame relay cloud, that IP address is 150, well, the neighbor is 155.1.0.4. That's the IP address on the frame relay side of router four. So we'll say that's the next hop, the neighbor. And the route we're concerned about is 150.1.4.4. Dot four dot zero slash twenty four. So this is the route we want to nuke. Okay, so first order of business, we are going to match the route that we are concerned about. So same deal, access list one, permit one fifty dot one dot four dot zero, make it a slash twenty four. So that's our access list portion of it. Then it's router rip distance 255 so that part is the same and now we need to match by the neighbor so 155.1.0.4 and let's match that exactly so all zeros there and then one which is going to be our access list so let's see if that works conf t access list one permit 150.140 and that's a slash 24 mask. Going to router rip, distance command 255, 155.104, that's the next hop. And 0, 0, 0, 0, so that matches the entire, it matches the slash 32. And then we're going to match the route inside of access list 1. Let's see if that works. We're going to clear IP route star. Show IP route rip. Okay, we're getting our rip routes back. Show IP route 150.1.4.0. And look at that. We are learning it through one source, one neighbor, 155.145.4 via serial 01. We are not learning it through frame relay. And as you can see here, we are learning it through this way, 000 to 000. This is being killed on the inbound. And also what's nice is since we're killing it by giving it a distance of 255, that should also not reach switch 2 or switch 4. So let's go over to switch 2. Switch 2 should not even see this. So show IP route 
for zero. It will see it through, let's see here, 50. So it is learning this, this particular route is the route coming through serial zero one, right? So if we do a trace, it's going to hit router five and go up to router four via here. It's not going to go this way through the frame relay cloud. So let's just verify that. Trace 15144. So it definitely is going through the point to point link. If I go one more, we are definitely not load balancing. All right, so that was a quick and easy video, hopefully, of the distance command, filtering with the distance command. So what we did first was distance filtering by the route. So we said, I want to match that loopback address, loopback network, 150.160. And the actual command under router rip is distance 255, all zeros, all 255. So we were not concerned about where it was coming from. And then we simply matched on the access list. The second thing we did is we went on router 5. And in this case, we were concerned about where it was coming from. We wanted to kill it coming through the frame relay cloud and leave the route coming through the point-to-point -point link. And so in the way we had to do that is a similar access list. We matched the route, so 150.140. And then the distance command was just a little different. It started the same with distance 255. But then we matched by the neighbor itself, 155, 104, and then all zeros for an exact match. And then we put the number of the access list at the end. Once again, my name is Humphrey Chung with Router Gods. Thanks for watching.